This is Chris McDaniels. Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to Mother Channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. It'll all be down there in the description box. And I am here to do my WWE Monday Night Raw October 7th, 2024 reviews. So we're going to be discussing about tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> now, this Raw is two hours now. Now, the rest of the year, Raw will remain two hours. So, yeah, no more three-hour Raws, possibly until Netflix. So, they haven't made an announcement, but from now to the end of the year, it's just two hours. Um, but, yeah, they kick off Raw with Sexy Red. So, yeah, Sexy Red uh, just welcome everybody to Raw and start just working and all that. Yeah, she was on the show uh, because they were in St. Louis, Missouri tonight. And then uh, CM Punk comes out there. CM Punk got some stuff to say. And he addresses about everything from Hell in the Cell at Bad Blood from Saturday. So, yeah, he was talking about that. He was talking about how he's in so much pain and stuff. Uh, how that was one of the most brutal matches he's been in. Which, it was pretty brutal. Um, and he says that, you know, he went into hell and he beat Drew McIntyre and he came out of it. And surprisingly, he's on fire. So, yeah, that's what CM Punk was talking about. And then Punk was talking about how, um, you know, uh, he, gets a, he gets a few people to thank. He says that he thanks his fans because, you know, the fans have always been there for him, holding signs and all that stuff for the past seven years, ever since he made his return to professional wrestling, and then an extra three years until he came back home to the WWE. So, yeah, that's what he was talking about there. And then he thinks, like, pretty much his friends and stuff from backstage and all that. And then he thinks the people that hate some because he says that, you know, if it wasn't for them, he wouldn't be making that much money. So he's been making money. So yeah, that's what he said there, which was pretty funny, you know, and he was talking about how he's going to heal up and all that stuff and come back. So yeah, that's what CM Punk was talking about there. But then all of a sudden, Seth Rollins interrupts him. He comes out there and he actually gets face to face with CM Punk and... You know, Punk was not happy, and Seth looks at him, and then he pretty much like sh uh, Seth shoulder bumps, shoulder bumps CM Punk while it, you know, so he can walk down the ramp. So yeah, uh, that's what happened there, and Punk walked off backstage while Seth Rollins made his way to the ring. So yeah, up next, Seth Rollins will be talking in the ring up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, we get to the next segment of the night where we see Seth freaking Rollins. He comes out there to the ring because, you know, he came out there interrupting CM Punk. So he made his way out there to the ring now. And then he was talking about how he actually got to show a little bit of respect to CM Punk because, you know, he said that match against Drew McIntyre inside Hell in the Cell at Bad Blood, it was pretty brutal. So he says that he got to show CM Punk some respect, but then... He says that he wants CM Punk to go home, rest up, go see his wife and all that, come back so he can put his ass into retirement. So, yeah, that's what Seth Rollins is talking about. He starts laughing. And then he was talking about how so much stuff was happening in Bad Blood, like, uh, you know, Dominic Mysterio getting locked up in the shark cage, The Rock, the final boss returning, and then he looks and he says that even Cody Rhodes teaming up with Roman Reigns and he puts down sunglasses. And then he says Kevin Owens punching Cody Rhodes in the face after the show. So yeah, that's what he says there. But then he says that he can't be talking about none of that. And he gets to talk about Bronson Reed. So yeah, he starts talking about Bronson Reed, how he stumped his head into the steel steps last week on Raw. And he says that Bronson Reed's not there tonight. But he says that, you know, whenever Bronson Reed comes back, he can name the place, the time, and anywhere else for them to go at it. So yeah, that's what Seth Rollins was saying, laying out a challenge to Bronson Reed right there. But then, all of a sudden, the Intercontinental Champion, Jay Uso, comes out there because, you know, up next he has a match against Xavier Woods. So he comes out there, he makes his entrance, he gets into the ring, and Seth Rollins was not looking happy at with Jay Uso being there. So yeah, he seemed bothered about Jay being, uh, you know, coming out to the ring and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, maybe that'll be a feud too. So, yeah. Um, then Seth Rollins walks out, and, yeah, Jay 
Uso will have a match up next against Xavier Woods for the Intercontinental Championship in the first match of the night up next on Raw. Still to come later on tonight in the main event, it will be Gunther versus Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event for tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. And Sheamus versus Pete Dunne in a Donnie Brooke match as well later on tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. So the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later. Till then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, we get to the first match of the night. It was the Intercontinental Champion main event, Jey Uso versus Xavier Woods with Kofi Kingston at ringside the New Day in a one-on-one -on -one match for the Intercontinental Championship. So yeah, this is the first match of the night right here. Uh, this match, it was pretty good one. Xavier Woods was actually taking control of this match majority of the time playing as the heel because at one point he slammed Jey Uso outside of the ring saying, is this your boy and stuff? talking to the fans so yeah he's playing the hillside right there and jay starts coming back during this match a few times against uh xavier woods but xavier woods at one point hits a nice super kick onto jay he pins him one two jay barely kicks out at two so then xavier woods decides to climb up the top turnbuckle and he starts walking the ropes because he's going to try the elbow drop when well, he springboard off the top rope but he gets caught with a super kick in the air by jay uso uh, he's laid out. Jay Uso climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with the Uso splash onto Xavier Woods, and then he pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Jay Uso defeated Xavier Woods tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match to retain his Intercontinental Championship. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good match. But then after the match ended, we see um, you know Xavier Woods get back up to his feet. Jey Uso daps up uh, Kofi Kingston, and then he tries to do the same with Woods, but Woods just straight up looked at him, all pissed off, and, he's, and he walks out the ring. And Kofi's like, bro, what's going on? And stuff, and then he gets out the ring as well. And then, all of a sudden, Braun Breaker gets into the ring, and Jey Uso turns around. He gets hit with a spear by Breaker. So yeah, Braun Breaker lays out Jey Uso, so it looks like they are definitely going to go ahead with that feud. Last week, I thought that the feud was over, but, and then, like, you know, Braun Breaker was going after the World Heavyweight Championship, but it looks like that's not going to be the case now. It looks like he's going back after the Intercontinental Championship, which is a good decision at the moment, you know. But, yeah, that's what happened there uh, with uh, Jay Uso. And then Kofi Kingston was trying to talk to Woods, like, go help out, Jay. But, you know, uh, Xavier Woods is like, no, uh, I'm not going to do it. And then Kofi runs into the ring, and he starts going at it with Braun Breaker. But then Breaker hits a spear on to Kingston, playing him out. And then Woods drags out Kingston out of the ring. And then while he's checking on Kingston outside of the ring, Breaker runs out of the ring and runs around the ring, coming up hitting a spear on to Xavier Woods outside of the ring. And then uh, Breaker gets back into the ring, sees Jay getting back up to his feet, so he starts hitting the ropes, coming back with a second spear on the Jay as well, laying him out. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. Braun Breaker laying out the New Day and Jay Uso tonight on Monday Night Raw. So yeah, that's what happened there for the match. What happened after the match, I'll give it all uh three stars that's why i'll give it was good stuff but yeah that's what happened there and then after that we see like a promo package from rhea ripley talking about how Liv morgan can't beat her by herself and all that stuff how she always gotta get constant help and how she had to go find help with raquel rodriguez but she said that raquel rodriguez can pretty much get it as well so yeah that's what rhea ripley was saying there but yeah i'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on monday night raw see you guys later till then So, the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, there was a lot of stuff to get into. Now, before we talk about the Donnie Brook match, we're going to talk about a lot of segments. So, yeah, we see Jackie Redman interviewing Braun Brooker. We'll try to interview Braun Brooker, ask him, like, why did you pretty much have peace with Jey Uso last week on Raw and then went on every, spearing everybody this week? And he just looks and he don't answer and he just walks away. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then they start showing Cody Rhodes arriving to the arena where all of a sudden we see the static stuff going on with the tv and all that so possibly why it's six it seems like 
when Cody Rhodes is arriving. But then after that, we see the Miz and stuff. Where we see the Miz talking to Karrion Cross backstage, and Miz was talking about how he's not in the final testament and all that. See, so yeah, that's what Miz was talking about there. And then our truth comes up, and you know, the static stuff happens again with the YS6 stuff with the YS6 logo. So it looks like the YS6 is going to be going after the final testament. It seems like. And our truth was uh, asking Miz, was he okay and stuff? Because he says he's not even a part of the Judgment Day anymore. See, so yeah, that's what Truth was saying. And Miz was like, I know you're not a part of the Judgment Day. I tried to kick you off the damn head last week because I wanted to. And Truth was like, is everything okay? Here, let me go ask Adam Pierce for a match. <laughs> and Miz was like, you know what? This is what gets on my nerves because you keep on doing that crap. He said, how about this? Next week on Raw Menu. So, yeah, it looks like next week it will be Miz versus Truth one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we get to the next match of the night. It was Sheamus versus Pete Dunne in a Donnie Brook match. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a pretty good one. Both these guys were beating the hell out of each other during this match. Uh, there was table spots and all that stuff. We see like two tables set up. And they was on these barrels uh, in this match. And Sheamus was beating the hell out of... Uh, Pete Dunn in the chest with the 10 beats to the battering ram, and then he picks him up on his shoulders and hits white noise off uh, those things through those tables. So, yeah, that's what he does there. Off the barrels, he hit the uh, white noise going through the tables, which was pretty cool. And then they get back into the ring. Sheamus hits him with the knee to the face. He pins him, but, well, actually, he hits him with the knee to the face and then picks him up, hitting the high cross onto Pete Dunn, and then he pins him. But Pete Dunn barely kicked out at two. Well, Dunn keeps on coming back, and then, uh, you know, he hits Sheamus in the back with that cricket bat once again, and then he hits, like, the miniature bro kick onto him. He pins him, but then Sheamus kicks out at two once again. And then that's when Dunn goes out the ring grabbing zip ties, zip tying Sheamus's hands together behind his back, and then he hits him with like a knee to the face, and then he pins him again, but Sheamus kicks out at two once again, and then he grabs the cricket bat, and he turns around back to hit Sheamus, but Sheamus comes up with hitting a knee to the face on a Pete Dunn, and then he hits the bro kick onto Pete Dunn, pinning him for the three count. So yeah, Sheamus defeated Pete Dunn tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match in the Donnie Brook match. That's what happened. Great match, though, for that match. I'll give it four stars. That's why I'll give it great match between Sheamus and Pete Dunn there. But then after that match ended, we see Cody Rhodes. Jackie Rubman goes up and interviews Cody Rhodes, asking him about the Kevin Owens stuff. And uh, he says that he ain't going to speculate and all that stuff. And then he says that he's only looking forward to Crown Jewel because he wants to face the best of the best at Crown Jewel. So, yeah, that's what Cody Rhodes is saying there. And then he walks off and then he runs into Sami Zayn which I know we got to be awkward because uh, Sami Zayn's like best friends with Kevin Owens, you know. And uh, Cody was like, look, I want you, I wanted to see you win the world title uh, because, you know, Sami was talking about how he bear, yeah, Cody better not undermine him because he said that he's going to go and win that world title tonight against Gunther. And then Cody was like, good, I want you to win it because I want to face you as well. So, yeah, that's what Cody Rhodes tells Sami Zayn. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we see Jackie Redman interviewing Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan, Dominic Mysterio, because they came up. Actually, it was Kathy Kelly that interviewed uh, Cody Rhodes. Jackie Redman was interviewing the Judgment Day. And, yeah, they come up. And then, uh, you know, asking if uh, Raquel is joining the Judgment Day and all that. And then Liv was talking about, no, we're just focusing on Nia Jax now because we're dealing with Rhea Ripley and all that stuff. And then Dominic was like, well, you know what? We're done with this stuff. How about let's go ahead and leave? And pretty much they decided to leave out. And then Jackie asked uh, Ra Raquel one more time if she had part of the Judgment Day. She looks at her and then she just jumps in the driver's seat and they drove off. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. But, yeah, still to come later on tonight in the main event, it will be... Gunther versus Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event for tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, we get to the next match of the night. But before we talk about that match, we got to talk about a segment that happened backstage. So yeah, we see the NXT general manager Ava talking to the Raw general manager Adam Pearce backstage. And then they get interrupted by Ethan Page. And Ethan Page wants to talk to Adam Pearce because he gets a problem with CM Punk hitting to go to sleep onto him last week on NXT and cost him his NXT championship. And, uh, you know, Adam Pearce looks at Ethan and goes like, I'm not the one that appointed Punk to be special guest referee. That was your general manager. And Ava was like, 
hey, you came all the way down here to St. Louis to talk to me and stuff, and then uh, Ethan Page wanted to talk to her about that issue, and then she goes like, well, I'm off the clock, so I can't talk to you now. So yeah, that's what she says there, and then Sexy Red comes up, uh, saying hey to Ava, Adam Pierce, and then Ethan Page kind of gave her an attitude, and then she said, well, bye, then, and so yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, but yeah, then we get to the next match of the night. It was a 10 woman tag team match. It was Alba Fire, Isla Dawn, Unholy Union teaming up with Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler, and Zoe Stark, Pure Fusion Collective versus Lyra Valkyria, Zelina Vega, Natalia, Katana Chance, and Caden Carter in a 10 women tag team match. 10 woman tag team match. So yeah, we get to this match. This match, it was alright. Everybody was beating the hell out of each other in this match. Uh, you know, hitting moves like Zelina, like Zoe Stark hitting a missile drop kick off the top rope on the Zelina Vega. Natalia hitting a discus clothesline on to uh, Zoe Stark taking her out. And then we, everybody was beating down each other up until the ending where we see uh, Zelina Vega jump on to Sonya Deville's back with a sleeper hole, and then she, uh, Sonya runs Zelina into the corner, which Lyra attacks herself in, and then she knocks uh, Zelina out of the ring, and then Lyra jumps off the top turnbuckle, hitting a massive leg drop to the back of the head onto uh, Sonya Deville while she's still standing, and then pins her for the three count. So yeah, Lyra Valkyria, Natalia, Zelina Vega, Katana Chance, and Kater Carter defeated Unholy Union and your future collective tonight in a 10 woman tag team match that's what happened for that match i'll give it two and a half stars that's why i'll give that one but yeah up next it will be the main event it will be the world heavyweight champion gunther versus Sami Zayn one-on-one for the world heavyweight championship up next on monday night raw so yeah i'll see you guys later till then So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, we get to the main event. It was the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther versus Sami Zayn, one-on-one for the World Heavyweight Championship. So yeah, we get to this match. It was the main event. This match, it was a pretty good one. Both of these guys were beating the hell out of each other a lot of times in this match. But then we start getting towards the ending of this match where we go outside of the ring where we see Gunther try and power a bomb Sami Zayn on the floor, but Sami Zayn reverses it, hitting a back body drop onto Gunther outside of the ring, and then uh, Gunther comes running up to him at one point, and then Sami grabs him, and then he hits the exploder suplex onto him into the barricade, and then when uh, Gunther was getting back up right there towards the barricade, Sami hits the hell over kick onto him outside of the ring, referee's about to count him out, but then Sami rolls into the ring, rolling back out, so the referee don't count him out, he grabs Gunther, throws him back into the ring, Gunther's over there by the corner. Sammy hits another hill over kick, but this time to the back of the head onto Gunther. But Gunther's still standing, and Gunther turns around. Sammy tries to hit a third hill over kick onto him again, but then Gunther comes up with a vicious clothesline onto Sammy. It was a crazy ass one. He pins him one, two. Sammy barely kicks out at two. Gunther picks up, hits a power bomb onto him. He pins him again. One, two. Sammy kicks out at two once again. Gunther picks him back up. Hits another clothesline to, onto him, and then he grabs him. Hits a second power bomb onto Sammy. He pins him again. One, Sammy kicks out at one, and then Gunther locks on the sleeper hold. Sammy still has some fight in him, and he tries to get towards the ropes to get rope break to break up the submission. But then Gunther launches back at him, holding him down, uh, making Sammy Zayn pass out. So yeah, Gunther defeated. Sami Zayn tonight in a one-on-one match, and Gunther has retained his World Heavyweight Championship tonight on Monday Night Raw. But then, after the match ended, Gunther walks out the ramp, and he's celebrating, holding up his world title at the crowd. And then, all of a sudden, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Cody Rhodes, comes out there, and him and Gunther gets face-to-face on the stage on Raw to end off the show. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, so it looks like definitely at Crown Jewel it will be Cody Rhodes versus Gunther one on one champion versus champion at Crown Jewel for sure. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But, yeah, for the main event, that match was good. I'll give it four stars as well. I'll give it, it was a great match. It was either that match being match of the night, or I'll say it was the Donnie Burton match with Sheamus and Pete Dunn. That match was really good. I think that one's probably match of the night right there, but the main event was good as well. Tonight's episode of Raw, it was good. I gotta get used to it being two hours again because it's been 
over 10 years. It's been 12 years since they've been two hours, so I gotta get used to that. But yeah, tonight's raw is still good. For tonight's episode, I'll give it eight and a half stars. That's, that's why I'll give it. So it was a good show. But yeah, that has been my Monday Night Raw reviews. Like, subscribe, subscribe to TW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for tomorrow night's NXT reviews. See you guys later. Until then.